YouTube, this is William. Welcome to another Whittle Talk. As promised, I am going to show you how I put a rough edge on a knife. Um, or I, have put, I put my edges on. What I have is I have a, a butcher knife. What I have is a butcher knife that uh, I need to mail out tomorrow. So I want to put uh, an edge on it. And uh, maybe I'll show you how I do it. Had a young man question me about how how to sharpen a curved blade. He was having difficulty doing that, so I'm gonna, gonna kind of give some pointers on that, and also just show you how I do it. So stick with me. Now here we go. Okay, I've got two stones here. One of them is pretty typical. It's just a a coarse and a fine grit. This one's a DMT um, diamond stone and it's the medium grit I believe. Um, I very seldom use the uh, the fine. I've, I've got another one here. It's a dual sharp from DMT. It had that little wing thing on it and I broke that off and it just stays in my in my pack. And uh, again I use the, the medium grit. I think this is the medium grit. It may be the coarse. I don't know but very seldom use a fine grit. But even this, this fine fine grit here, what they consider fine is, is about a medium. So what you want to do is you want to get a stable platform. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one of these you use. But you want to get a stable platform. And what I do is how I get my angle is if you hold the knife this way, this is a 90 degree angle. Okay? Remember school, geometry? And if you half that, this is a 45. And if you half that again, that's about 22 and a half. Okay, and that's what I try to maintain as I, as I sharpen. And all I'm doing is just supporting the knife here. Okay? And I'm just taking little pieces off, off of the top of the, of the stone. Okay? And however many times I go one way, I do the same amount the other way. And again, I'm maintaining that 22 and a half degree angle. Alright, and if you're having problems with that, what you can do is take a felt magic marker and just mark the edge of your knife so you can see where you're hitting it. Um, and um, that will help you as well. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you maintain that same angle and just follow it all the way down. And all of this is, is, is just muscle memory. Once, once you get the hang of this, you can do it very quickly. And your muscles take over. You're, you're, and it's just it's second nature to you. Okay? very sharp and so once I get to that point usually it only takes just a few swipes and and you're right back unless you have a, a damaged blade and some of the people think that if you have a damaged blade you got to automatically get that get that nick out but I don't um, over time that nick will work out and the more you sharpen a blade the more you're taking metal off so why not leave the nick in there and just let it take care of itself at a, at a later date instead of trying to wear out your knife too soon, if, you, if that makes sense. So uh, all I wanted to say, I soak these in water. I don't use oil on any of it, and all that does is just float the particles out of the way so that um, the stone works better. So. Once, once I start getting an edge on it, and you can, you can feel a little slight burr, then I'll, I'll alternate it uh, probably about ten times. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that is that is very sharp. Now, I do not strop a knife. All I have is just a, a piece of leather. Has no buffing compound on it whatsoever. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, and all it, it does is just takes the the old steel and and grit and everything out of the edge. It doesn't polish. It just takes all the trash out of the edge so that it has a true edge. Okay. Now let's do that just a few times. That is very sharp. How you can tell is if it'll slice your fingernail. It's a very sharp blade. Can you see that little fingernail there? Okay, you can take some paper. And you've seen them do the paper. But the thing about it is, if you have a thick enough paper, a knife will cut even if, it, if it's dull. So don't, don't always think that if it cuts paper that it's a sharp knife. It may have a burr on it and it'll still cut. So that's not a, that's not a true indication. Another thing is, you've seen people take it and, and try to shave with it. Well, this one shaves a little bit, but not very well. But it's, it's not supposed to. It's not a razor edge. It's a rough edge. Now, if you wanted to polish this edge, you could take it down to a fine grit and just polish, polish, polish it until you got a, a mirror edge. But I don't like mirror edges. I like rough edges. They cut better. Okay, if you want to test a, the cutting ability of a knife, use leather. Leather will give you an indication of how well a knife cuts. If you take that knife, it will tell you if the geometry is correct. It will tell you if the edge is correct and if it's sharp. Just take the knife. See how it just, it just slices through that leather? Now a dull knife will not do that. Matter of fact, you could, you could take the knife, if it has a good geometry, and just push it down. You don't even have to, you don't even have to use a sawing action. Just straight down. Now that's the indication of a sharp knife. And this edge will last you until the cows come home. <laughs> um, had a guy on Facebook just sent me a, a deal said it. He took one of my knives and, and uh, butchered a buck. And uh, he grabbed it and he was going to sharpen it before he put it back in the sheath after he, he completely butchered it out and cubed it up and ground it and everything. And he said he felt to the edge and it was still razor sharp. So he just put it back in the sheath. <laughs> Didn't even have to touch it up. So that's what a knife is supposed to do. And um, that's how I put an edge on it. Now, when I get out in the field, um, I have these little things, a little sharpening steel, and you can get those at Grom, Grom, Gromans, G-R-O-H-A-M-M. -M. And um, I, I'll put a link in the description below, but. You can get these little sharpening steels. I, I got two or three of them. And uh, they're just fantastic little things to just put a, put an edge real quick on a, bl on a blade. And you don't even have to use your stones. Most of the time, I very seldom use a stone on, on my knives. Most of the time, I just hit it a lick or two with that, and we're ready to go again for another day or two. When I really need some heavy duty touch up, this is what I use in the field. And um, maybe one day when I need to touch up a knife in the field, I'll show you how I do that. So little tease. 
But I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was beneficial to you. The main thing that you have to understand is watch the edge of the knife. As you're, as you're sharpening, make sure that you maintain that same angle on the stone. Make sure that you follow that same angle all the way through. Take your time. Get real slow with it. This is not a race. And then once, once you get proficient at it, then you can, you can speed up. Equal times on either side, equal pressure. What you want to do is you want to have this, this apex, you want it to be the same. Let's set that down. <laughs> you want it to be the same on both sides. You don't want it sharper on one side than it is on the other side. You don't want it something like this. Okay, you want it, you want it even. That's the reason you have to have the same angle on both sides with the same amount of strokes on both sides. Okay? There's nothing to it. It's really easy. All it takes is practice, practice, practice. Just uh, get you an old cheap knife. Uh, don't practice on your good knives. Get you one at an uh, old butter knife or something in the, in the drawer that you don't use anymore. And just practice with it. Take you a magic marker. Black it out. That way you can tell where you're hitting. And as, as you get more proficient at it and better at it, your muscles will take over and it will become a, a muscle memory thing. And, and uh, it's just a second nature. You, you just plop it down on the thing and you go to town on it, okay? It's not a second thought. So, hope you guys got something out of this. And until the next one, well, you guys get out in the yard. Go whittle on a stick. Go camping. If you do, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.